I almost forgot to make this video. I'm James Chow, host of the China Current at the World Health Organization in Geneva. I was here a couple of months ago to chair some of the technical briefings at the World Health Assembly, which is the annual gathering of global health leaders. We talk all about emerging technology in those events. There are some exciting technologies becoming available, including medical robots and 5G. Doctors in Beijing have remotely performed three simultaneous surgeries, the first time this has been achieved. Not only that, but they use medical robots and 5G. Here's what happened. On August 27th, a surgical team in Beijing set up three operations in three different parts of China, Tianjin, Zhangjiakou, and Karamai in Xinjiang. Thousands of miles separate them. The actual work was carried out by medical robots and supported on site by a number of human orthopedic surgeons. Robots can't do everything, but the advantage they have over us is their level of precision and accuracy. Now let's bring in 5G, which is up to 20 times quicker than 4G. Because it's so fast, it was able to respond almost immediately to the hand movements of the command team in Beijing. In fact, with 5G, the robots were able to respond in just 0.1 of a second. With almost no time lag, but with stable imagery and clear video, surgeries are theoretically safer and more successful. Meanwhile, the patients had their pick of doctors. They benefited from some of the best surgeons in China and the skill and accuracy that medical robots bring. Remote surgeries can be used for people who can't travel to major cities like Beijing and Shanghai. It can be offered to people who live in remote and hard to reach areas and it can even be applied to emergencies like disease outbreaks and natural disasters. I often hear that because of the internet we are the most privileged generation in history but I still worry that the richness of tech and innovation is reserved for those of us who have a power supply, a Wi-Fi connection, connection and a high-cost laptop. This story provides proof, though, that technology can be inclusive. Good health and well-being should not depend on who we are or where in the world we happen to be born. It must be available to all of us. This is James Chow for The China Current. Thanks for watching. I'm James Chow. We've got lots more videos, so like, follow and subscribe at The China Current.